Hello and welcome back to the Lore Raider. Recently, this channel has had a uh, interesting track record with the view count. Uh, I, I don't get it, but I will panhandle for just one moment and say I urge you that if you appreciate what we do here, please like, share, and subscribe, and most importantly, comment to let me know that you're interested in what I do. And please check out my previous videos and give them some love as well. With the panhandling out of the way today, we have round four to battle the Crofts. This is the final preliminary matchup. The winner here will be facing against series Lara Croft in the semifinale, and round five will cover a classic Lara Croft versus 2001 Lara Croft in the first of our two semifinals. So for today's match, we have Legends Lara Croft from the Legends timeline versus animated Lara Croft from the revisioned animated miniseries. Which Croft will come out on top? Let's find out. May I buy in? It's a high-stakes game, Lady Croft. If it weren't, Mr. Atchison, I wouldn't be interested. Lady Lara Croft, Countess of Abington, was born February 14th of an unknown year, and daughter of Lord Croft. While we don't know much of her backstory, we knew that at some point she attended school run by her family, and on one occasion as a young student infiltrated the school grounds to obtain the dagger of Jeanne the principal took from her. By the time we see her as an adult, she's already an experienced Tomb Raider with at least seven known adventures under her belt. Eight if you count her school day escapades. The most immediately apparent feature of this Croft is her sheer strength. She was capable of punching another archaeologist several meters into the air, and on another occasion basically one-tapped a body possessed by the god Osiris with a kick to the face. Her durability was equally complimentary as she point-blank tanked an explosion that harmed the Kraken and blew off bits of its tentacle, and these same bombs can blow huge holes in thick layers of ice. She combines her physical capabilities with her speed. She was agile enough to evade gunfire with ease, skilled enough in hand-to-hand -hand combat to hit the buttons on the Celestial Scorpion, and on another occasion this assassin threw kunai at her point blank and Lara had time to shoot them out the air. In terms of skills, she was able to out sword fight that same assassin woman. She has displayed MMA and kickboxing proficiency. With her gun, she has gunned down werebeasts, and her intellectual skills, she managed to read literally one book and instantly crack the angel spit case. And with a little aid, she discovered the stairway to literal heaven. Despite her short runtime, animated Lara was nothing if not a powerhouse. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. I'm afraid you're just too good for this world. Miss Croft, are you deaf? I don't know. Let's see. Try begging for your life like you did the last time we spoke. Lady Lara Croft was born February 14, 1977. Daughter of Richard Croft and Amelia Croft, granddaughter to R.J. Croft and niece of Errol Croft, Legends Lara has had a bit of a tragic backstory, having personally witnessed the disappearance of her mother after experiencing a plane crash and then years later was left orphaned when her father went missing on a trip to Cambodia. Since his body could not be recovered, she was forced to endure a grueling legal battle for control of her manor with her uncle, though she did win, left her estranged from the rest of her family. In her Tomb Raiding career, she has gone through eight adventures between her three main games, three spin-off games, a comic series, and a book, which in numerical order makes her dead even with her opponent, 8-8. Eight to eight. In terms of her strength, she's been able to beat down mercenaries with her hand-to-hand -hand skills, she can push around heavy stone puzzle blocks, and in the game she has been shown being able to hold a metal gate open whilst drowning for several seconds, which is pretty impressive. But perhaps her most impressive feat on paper at least, is she snapped the horns off basically the devil who was strong enough to obliterate this house here. She with weapons was also able to tangle with the likes of Jacqueline Natla, Queen of Atlantis, both of her doppelgangers, Amanda Everts demon pet thing, and killed off dinosaurs like the T-Rex. Finally with her weapons, with them as seen in Temple of Osiris, she is able to harm the Egyptian gods Amet and Set with her bombs and handguns respectively, which is pretty impressive. On the topic of speed, she can outrun dinosaurs like velociraptors and even bears, and her reactions are such that she can consistently dodge gunfire, which is normal for Lara Croft in general. She's also athletic enough to traverse dangerous and oftentimes complex trap rooms and puzzle rooms. Certainly a well-rounded jack-of-all-trades craft. Goodbye, mother. 
rest in peace. And now on to the analysis itself. It's worth noting that while it may look like Legends Lara has better feet, harming the god Set is much better than kicking a human possessed by Osiris, and snapping the horns off the devil basically is a little bit better than punching a human straight into the air. However, things are not as simple as they might seem. Firstly, Legends Lara had the help of the god Osiris in the fight with Set and Ahmet, which no doubt he was doing the brunt of the damage. And while she did snap off the horns of this devil-like figure, it was earlier established in the comic that her conventional damage did nothing to minor devils, so it's likely these horns did not scale to the rest of his body. Legends Natla, who, you know, Legends Lara would scale up against, is significantly weaker than her original counterpart as she lacks the nuke tanking feet of the latter. And this Lara has consistently been manhandled by her doppelganger in the Underworld and only defeated Amanda's demon by use of Excalibur, which is not allowed in this match. Effectively, what you're left with is Legends Lara Croft, who potentially has higher attack potency with her guns thanks to harming Amet and Set, against an animated Lara Croft who is better than her in every other metric. Where Legends Lara has close quarter combat skills, animated Lara is masterful by comparison. Where Legends Lara has Zip and Alistair to help her do her job, Animated Lara is capable of adventuring on her own, proving her intelligence. Where Legends Lara is fast, Animated Lara can literally cut a gun out of someone's hand faster than they can pull the trigger. In effect, Animated Lara is more analogous to Doppelganger Lara than Legends Lara, which pretty much sums up this fight. Can Animated Lara through an early headshot or by utilizing her superior physical capabilities overwhelm and disable her opponent? Or will Legends Lara pull an underdog victory and overwhelm her animated counterpart with superior firepower. In my estimation, the first scenario is by far the most likely, as Legends Lara has a proven inability to deal with basically a stronger version of herself, and unlike animated Lara, Doppelganger was unarmed. If Doppelganger can consistently overwhelm Legends Lara, then Legends Lara is bringing nothing animated Lara hasn't dealt with before. I declare animated Lara Croft the victor. You made the rules, now you'll play by them, win or lose.